beautiful people. Today I want to share with you my October daily week one. I'm all caught up and um, I want to share with you my pages. This is also going to be the last video before I leave on my trip. I leave on Sunday but I still have a lot to prepare for and do before I leave so I'm going to end it here. This is going to be my last video and if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Serena B. I'll be back at the end of October so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy my October daily flip through. So this is my October daily. I'm using a 2 inch spine from Ashley Goldberg for um, Studio Calico. And I decorated the inside of the cover. This is the first time I've done something like this. It's not finished. I have to add more to it because I'm not liking the way it looks right now. But this is where I'm going to put either my prompts or my October daily reflections. I do a short reflections on what I think about the month, looking back, and what I liked and didn't like about the whole process. And um, so it's probably going to go there, and I'm probably going to cover this up as well. So the album cover decoration is not complete. I might add something to the front as well. This is day one and so far it's getting bulky and this is going to be my trip my trip album as well. I'm gonna have everything in this album for my October month. So I was doing a, a page a day and I think I'm gonna have to change that up because I don't I don't want it to be too big too fast. So this is day one. I started my last October daily with a selfie so I just wanted to continue that tradition. I love this card on its own so I didn't decorate it and I just put the number one here. This day I documented my squad. These are my crafty online besties and I absolutely love these women so much. They're always there for me and so I wanted to document my squad. And the background paper is part of my Love Bites digital collection. If you guys don't know I have my own shop and I'll link it down below as well as in this card for you. And, and I went to a little spot near my house and I just put a little uh, overlay that says Happy October. So day two, I was just having fun with Snapchat. I really like how these selfies made me look. <laughs> and um, I really wanted to include the fall ones. They have like these little leaf ears and then the crown of autumn flowers. And I really like that. And the background paper here is a mixture of my Slate Girl collection and then my Spooky Pastel collection. This one's really cool. It's black and white stripes with a floral background and I absolutely love it. And because there's like a floral crown, I thought it would perfectly. And also sadly, October 2nd was the horrible, horrible incident in Las Vegas. And I wanted to document it somehow in my album. So I made this little insert here and um, I did some journaling about the day. And that way I'll never forget what happened and it's gonna be in my album. So, um, and if you have family or friends or anybody affected by it, I just want to reach out to you and say I'm so sorry this happened to you guys. And I wish you all the best and I hope you're all doing well. This is just like a 4x4 other type of pocket for like a little album. I just made punched holes myself and then the back I just decorated it. So I just made a filler decorative card and I used uh, my spooky pastel paper with some beautiful nights cut apart. And day three looks like this. Um, I have an interactive element here. I'll show you that in a second. I just made some treats. I got my new printer because Epson, uh, my old printer, stopped working on me. So they sent me a replacement and I documented my new printer that came in. And like I said, day three, uh, I just kind of gave myself a little positive quote here. What's oh, upside down? Shoot. I made it upside down. Anyways, so here is um, my Halloween car and I just did some journaling about the day. So day four I received happy mail and that's what I was documenting in the card. That's a fun tip for you guys if you want to add some hidden journaling or if you have more to say or you have more photos you can always make a card and then sometimes I like to like like staple a tab so I know that you can pull it and so I got some amazing gorgeous super awesome happy mail from my friend Sarah and she painted these beautiful ornaments for me and she made these fabric um, pieces here so I'm just documenting that. I also wore my pumpkin shirt for the first time out and about and I just uh, spelled out the vibes with some American Craft stickers. And then I wore the socks that she gave me and then this is um, a sticker from my October Nights collection. This is Chilling. thought that was fitting. I made a shaker pocket with a cut apart from the Beautiful Nights. And um, for the sequin mix I used my Paper Cakes. Deadly Nightshade and mixed in with my Trick or Treat mix. So I have my own sequin mixes which includes all kinds of fun ingredients. There's beads, there's glitter, there's all kinds of different sizes and, and styles of sequins. So you can see that here in this uh, shaker pocket. This is day five. Again, one page for day five. I received this really pretty decorative piece. This is a card for my Spooky Pastel. But um, my friend Sabrina 
sent me this last year in Happy Mail and I thought it'd be really fun as a filler card so I just kept it the way it was I added a pom-pom to the little pink paper clip and the only thing that's different is the little um, tombstone glitter piece was part of it but I took it apart and layered it behind my photo here and this is the first pumpkin spice latte I had this season I'm hoping to get another one maybe when I get back from my vacation every time I have it I always forget how weird it is at first I don't know if you guys are like me it always takes me some getting used to so I'm always like hmm this is this is what the fuss is about and then the more you drink it the better it gets <laughs> so um, that's at least what I think that's my opinion to kind of document this treat I uh, cut up the Tim Holtz sticker that says trick or treat and this is die cut piece from my love bites collection and I just added some Winka Stella on it. I love it because they're vampire teeth and it can be used. It's a Valentine's Day collection, but it can be used um, clearly for Halloween and I love it. And then also on the 5th, this is a Thursday I believe, I created this um, watercolor card. If you want to see the tutorial, I'll link it down below as well as in this video. It's the last installment of my Halloween Happy Meal series if you want to check it out. It's really fun, so I kind of did my journaling about the day. And then day six, which was Friday, uh, was a bigger day for me, so I have a lot of stuff to document. Um, I started off by taking a picture of my kitty cat baby, so I just spell out baby love with some uh, holographic stickers. I noticed that I finally reached 15,000 subscribers um, on my YouTube channel, so thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody! I can't believe that 15,000, actually 30,000 eyeballs are watching my videos. That's so crazy, and I'm so blessed and thankful to each and every one of you who subscribe, who like my videos, who uh, click notifications, who leave comments. I'm so blessed to have all of you on my channel and I'm so happy you love my creepy little ideas and whatever I come up with for you guys. It makes, it means a lot to me so um, I appreciate each and every one of you. So I just um, insta story that and I just screenshot my insta stories and then um, I put a sticker that says I'm so thankful for you. And I added some star epoxy stickers from Target. And then here, <laughs> this is funny. Um, it's I spelled out with an overlay, it's okay that I'm not okay. And it got cut off, so I decided it's okay that it got cut off. <laughs> um, so here it says, split me over. So I just added some washi tape. I added some stickers and that way I know that there's hidden journaling under that. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is every time I do a place with hidden journaling, I'm going to add some of these eyeball enamel stickers, if you guys can see that okay. These are actually, uh, what are they called, enamel dots from Doodlebug. And so like I said, every time I have like hidden journaling, I think I'm going to add those eyeballs so that I know in the future there's more to look at and read under the photos. And I just decorated with some stickers and I just realized that's backwards. There we go. So that's day six, and then at night, me and my mom went to Phantom of the Opera. It was the first time we've watched it, and it was so amazing. Oh my gosh, it was so good. So I decided to make um, open page element because I started noticing there's a lot of pocket pages, and I like incorporating open pages that you can feel as well. So um, this is a little baggie from Michaels. And so I added this picture of me and my mom. I matted it on some purple glitter cardstock, as you can see. And then I just wrote Mommy Date Night. And then Ghoul's Night Out. Basically, all the little stickers on this page is from my October Nights and Jeepers Creepers collection. And then inside, I have two more cards. Some more photos of the day or the night. I added this like little pull tab out of this ribbon that I love. And then I did some journaling. This is behind a... Um, beautiful mess card and then this is my October Nights paper and originally what I was gonna do was put this here and I completely forgot so I did some journaling in the back took some photos and um, from the night and just did simple decorating just layered some paper so that's that and in the back all I did was add a beautiful night cut apart some washi this from Studio Calico it's not part of a Halloween thing but to me they're orange and I thought it would go good with my album this is the um, booklet I just cut off the cover and then the axe part and I have the tickets inside as well and then I was originally gonna just trim this off and then I decided to leave it there and make a shaker pocket and this sequin mix is um, a new one I'm playing with but I also mix some Deadly Night shade in it so it'll be soon in my shop and then day 7 I had finally a day to myself and so this is a picture I added to Insta Stories, and if you want to follow me on there, my name is at Ceres B S E R E S B E E. 
if you want to follow me on there. I do a lot of stuff, a lot of posting on my Insta stories as well. So I just, again, added some of those stars, enamel dots, and these glittery bats, and the number 7. And then this is the continuation of number 7. Um, I did my journaling on this card. And I forgot I wanted to include these bits here because I watched Beetlejuice that night. And um, my friend Sabrina sent me this in Happy Mail last year and I absolutely love it. So I thought it'd be fun to like have it here as an interactive element. So if ever I want to like just read the journaling, I know that there's journaling there and I can just flip it around. And I think it turned out really cute. I like the layered look and it makes sense that there's a haunted house. So day eight, again a full page. This was Sunday and I just snapped a picture of my favorite candle from Bath & Body Works. It's Marshmallow Fireside and I also like Tis the Season for Christmas time. But this is my favorite scent of all time. It's, it's so freaking good. Uh, my goal is to use up all the stars in this album. And then I just added them on top of the stars that are already on this little die cut from Beautiful Nights. And this Beautiful Nights is fun to use in between with my October Nights and Spooky Pastel because it matches really nicely. And then I have my favorite cheddar jalapeno popcorn from Smart Food. And I just documented that. And then I went for a little walk. I added a sticker that says the colors of autumn. So I just did a decorative page here. I added this die cut on some foam adhesive. So it's raised. And then what I did was I tucked some enamel dots in corresponding colors under. And then on top just to decorate it. Did some journaling about Thanksgiving and how I'm feeling. I did a small little um, Michaels haul before I leave. And I discovered that one of my current favorite bands, Creeper, is coming to Montreal. I'm so excited. And they're coming with a band called Neck Deep. So I checked them out and I actually really like them. They remind me of early 2000 like emo pop punk and it's kind of rare to find that nowadays I think so I really enjoy them and they're from Wales and Creeper is also from the UK so I'm really loving these two bands and I suggest if you like pop punk or punk or rock or alternative music I really suggest them they're fun so that is it these are all the days I have so far but I just wanted to quickly show you I did some prep work I cut up this vellum piece from Carousel from um, Maggie Holmes. I might do a layout on it, I'm not sure. Uh, I just think it's really pretty. Then it's velvety, so it has texture, and I love I love that sound. I love the crinkle noise it makes. And, then, and I already punched out some pockets. This one's from Target, this one's also from Target, and I thought this would be fun to like do a photo and then journaling in the inside, or add more photos inside. This is just a six by eight card for a layout. And then I have more bags and more bags and I thought this would be fun to add my plane tickets from when I'm traveling because I'm taking about like 8 flights. <laughs> so I thought this would be fun to put my tickets in here. This is the front cover for the album but the holes are punched very close to the end of the sheet and I don't want to rip them apart or anything so I keep it at the end until I'm finished my album and then I'll move it to the front. So that is it. This is week one. What do you guys think? I like my pages. I think they're coming out really nice. I like mixing. Last year all I did was use Spooky Pastel, but I like that this year I'm mixing the oranges with the pastel colors. I really like that. And um, black and white, of course, and stuff like that. So I'm really happy with how it's turned out so far. I hope you guys like this flip through. I hope that you got some ideas and some inspiration for your October Daily. And if you are doing October Daily, don't forget to tag me. I want to see your pages and you can join my Facebook group. It's called Halloween and October Daily Inspiration. You can just search that on Facebook and um, answer a few questions and I'll accept you in the group. It grew a lot this year and everybody's posting their projects and their pages daily and their hauls and just anything Halloween related, decorations, whatever that your Halloween heart wants to uh, post, you can go on my Facebook group and share with us. I hope you guys can check out my Facebook group and share your October Daily there with us. Um, yeah, that's it for today. I won't be working on it until I get back. So when I get back, November is going to be a big month for me. Um, it's my birthday month. So I have some happy mail projects to work on. Send that out. And then October Daily stuff. I won't be doing December Daily, so I have two months to catch up on my October Daily, my September, and my August Project Life pages. Yeah, guys, I'm coming back to a lot of crafty work, but it's okay. It's what we love, so I don't mind at all. Um, yeah, so that's it for me. I won't be making a video for the next two, three weeks. So if you're new here, I hope that you can check out some of my older videos until I get back and make more fun content for you guys. So that's all the talking I'll do for today. Thank you for being here with me, and I hope that you have a safe and happy Halloween. If I don't speak to you, then... Guys, this is our month. This is our time. This is October, and I'm so freaking excited um so yeah enjoy the weather enjoy the colors changing on the leaves enjoy the pumpkin spice lattes and the creepy scary movies and just have fun guys it's halloween so 
be safe, have fun. And if you want to follow my trip and where I'm going around the world, make sure you add me on Instagram because I'm definitely going to be Insta stories and sharing pictures and stuff like that. I'm hoping to do some vlogging. I'm not quite sure if my phone can handle it, but that's the goal. Alright, so happy Halloween guys and I'll talk to you when I get back. Bye!